Hi folks, welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K23 and we're at TPC River Highlands this week for the Travellers Championship. So let's just jump straight in and um, get this started, shall we? Okay, what's this? John Ram. Yeah, okay, we'll kick his butt. <laughs> let's go. Now, I haven't really had a chance to watch any of this this week, first two rounds. Uh, been a little bit busy, but I'll try and get to watch some, some of it over the weekend. I haven't even looked up who's in the lead, to be honest. I should have did that. But I haven't. I've turned the commentary on just for a little bit, just till we get past this first bit. PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Travelers Championship. Today's coverage is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm glad to be here covering this week's featured group and what a pairing as these two have been hinting at quite a budding rivalry here. Yes, extraordinary, isn't it, Henny? Uh, his goal is to take down John Rahm. Can anyone take down John Rahm? I don't know. Let's analyse. Incredible driver of the golf ball, nice little baby fade. Incredible iron player, holds a ton of putts. And that short game, I really don't see any holes in that defence. Absolutely. He's got the skill, doesn't he? But I think the most impressive thing is his will to win. We saw that when he won major championships, when he got to world number one. This is a bold play by this player to try and take down one of the best players in the game. OK, I'll probably turn the commentary off. I just like the little sort of intro they give you to the, the course and stuff like that. Um, I was going to go down and get a screenshot, but I think we'll just jump on and get this played. Oh! I've been mucking around a little bit with my audio. Just um, sort of adjusted some things uh, with the plugins and stuff. I still kind of use the same settings I had in my Blue Yeti. And uh, now I'm using the Wave 3. So I changed that a little bit. So I think it sounds better. But if it doesn't, or if it does, just let me know in the comments. So let's get this started, shall we? Uh, first hole is a par 4. 435 yards and 40 feet down. So we're going to aim down this right-hand side, especially without wind anyway. Shit. I mean, crap. <laughs> Could roll into the rough on this one. Not a good start. Not a good start. Right, I am going to turn. What's he facing with this one? This He's off. Got around a hundred yards here. Okay, let's turn the commentary back down. As I said, I just like the little intro they give you, and then we'll just turn it back off. Right, so what have we got here? Uh, 98 yards, 16 feet up, and 69 to 78%. So we're going to have to aim this way over here, and we'll go one club, maybe two clubs. I think we'll go two clubs with a bit of loft on it. That's a bit better. Now, I did take part in 2K's society event, because you, you win, I think. Was it an Adidas top? Adidas trainers as well, or sneakers, the Americans call them. And I was angry we had to shoot was minus 19, so I wasn't that fussed about it. But Mr. John Slicer beat me by one shot. <laughs> uh, John is, if you see him in the comment section, John always um, comments on the videos, and he beat me by one bloody shot. And that was down to the first round. I had an absolute nightmare on the first round. Go, go, go! Get in! Oh, so close. Yeah, I think I only hit... Minus five or something on the first round? I can't remember what John hit, but he, he absolutely hammered me on the first round. I, I kind of brought it back the second, third, and the fourth round, and he just beat me by one shot. <laughs> but all I wanted was a t-shirt and that anyway. I had the, the Adidas top and that, so... I really don't like playing the, the 2K uh, events. I really don't like it at all. Crap, I go from one extent to the other. A fast to a slow, come on wind, kick, kick it, kick it. Oh, it's in the rough again. Yeah, because they play with pro settings, they have everything turned on. Like I said in one of my videos before as well, I think it was the last one I played for that stupid bloody red jacket and I just gave up after the first round. <laughs> I can't play like this. It's absolutely horrible. Yeah, everything's turned on and there's just too much stuff on the screen for me. Right, come on. Roll up there. 
Oof, that's rolling a hell of a lot, isn't it? Look at that. Right, let's see if we can get a birdie here. Come on. That's going to turn, is it? No, nope. ah, we get the birdie. Nice one. So we're down to minus a one after two holes. Not too bad. Okay, third hole's a par four. Yeah, 427 yards and 11 feet down. Okay, over the top of the tree here. Let's try and get a good drive this time. Still a bit fast. Gonna keep on the fit. Yeah, it's gonna stay on the fairway. That'll do. Lovely. Nice big drive as well with that wind. 14 mile an hour. Okay, 348. Not bad. Oh, we've got 80, 80 yards. Little pitch shot. Let's put a bit of loft on this. So that's a quite a strong wind we've got here. Nice. Oh, that's going to set us up lovely for another birdie. Oh, 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 get in there. Look at that. Never mind the birdie, boys. Girls. Eagle. We'll take that. That was nice. Yeah, why didn't I do that in my, that bloody event I played 2K? <laughs> oh, like I was uh, saying in the last video as well, that's submersible. Now we know what happened. Uh, total implosion. Water. Oh, my goodness. But, I mean, I think the only good thing you could probably take away from that is they probably never felt it coming. They never even noticed. They, it was just uh, from what the, the marine guys and that were saying. It was like instantaneous. It would have happened in milliseconds. Just crushed. Oof. Ouch. Bloody hell. What a way to go. But, as I said, much better way to go than sitting watching other people suffocating that around you and stuff like that off oh, horrible anyway enough of that grim talk let's get on i just thought i'd mention it since i mentioned it in the last video and we never knew what was actually happening with it but apparently the coastline uh, the coast guard actually picked up a noise on sunday which is when they actually went down and it, they said it sounded like an implosion so they actually didn't want to say anything because they wanted to give a bit more hope to the families and stuff, and they weren't 100% sure anyway, so. But yeah, what a way to go, man. Jesus. Right, anyway, let's get into this. What we got? 204 yards, 8 feet up. Look at that. It's a bloody strong wind, so. 5 wood, 5 hybrid. I'm going to have to go with the 5 wood, and I'm going to have to bring it back just a touch, I reckon. Oh, it's a big fast. And that's going to go right over the back. Or is it going to hold? Is it going to hold? No, it's just going to trickle off. Just off the fringe as well. Right, we'll go with a little chip shot here. A little bit of loft on it. Again, another fast. I seem to be hitting way too many fasts. This is one thing I hate when the wind gets up on this game. is The shadows, the shadows are absolutely horrible. And I hate putting through um, the shadows as well. Really puts me off. But we'll take the par there. So there we go. We're three under after four holes. Not too bad. So one thing about this course as well, I think, like I said, I haven't had the chance to watch any of it this week, but I think the colours and the greens are very, very, very light. If you look here, I don't, I don't, it doesn't look that great, to be honest, how light the greens are. Right, um, what we've got here? Three wood. It's only a par three. Yeah, we're going to go with the three wood then. That's not too bad. That wind should hold it up. But is it going to hold the green? I think it is. That's going to give us an op opportunity for a birdie. Okay. Uh, 15 feet. One inch down. Second turn. Go on, get in there. Yes. Oh, do not too bad. But my dear, I did say I played four rounds of this in the um, the 2K society, so I had a little bit of practice yesterday. Okay, six hole, part five, 572 yards, nine feet down, and we've got that wind going with us. I think we're going to have to put 
Just a little bit of fade on this though. Take it around that tree there. Oh, again, we're hitting the fasts. That's going to hug that left-hand side of the fairway here though. Oh, a nice little sort of kick to the right there. Right, what have we got? 256 yards. Right, um, let's bring it in from the left here. Um, I don't know where I go down with a five, wood, to be honest. Because we should be all right with that wind. That wind's going to help us a little bit. Let's try that. Oh, crap. Do you know when I, I heard that sound, I actually thought I hit a slow. <laughs> just because the way I swung I actually thought it was a slow but it was a bloody massive fast right chip shot don't want a chip shot do we we want a, maybe a little pitch shot uh, let's bring that back as far as we go run about there 29 yards let's try that a little bit of loft oh come on with a fast blue neck Can we get the birdie though? See what I mean by how I think the green is very, very light, especially with the shadows and that as well. It's the beats are pretty hard to. It might just be my eyes, but my old eyes. Right. Get in. Yes. Another birdie. That's not bad. Yeah, I mean, I think this is what I hit on the first round of the, the 2K event was probably minus five. And that was on pro settings. And I'm on minus five after six on master settings. It's just too much stuff on the screen uh, with pro settings for me. Okay, seventh hole, par four, 437 yards and two feet up. Oh, come on with the damn fasts. Right, let's try and sort this out. Yeah, hang your head in shame. Right, well, we've got 195. Oh, look at that. 59 to 68%. That is not good. Six iron, five iron. Let's go with a five hybrid. Yeah, because that takes us way down at 53. So we'll just stick with a five hybrid. Try and aim it here somewhere so we can actually get on the fairway. Oh, shit. I mean, crap. <laughs> So that's going to leave us a little pit shot on the green. All right, we'll get this. Let's go up a club, a little bit of loft. Let's bring it back just a touch. That's a bit better, still a fast, but it's going to go on the green. It's got quite a bit of roll on it as well, but this is going to leave us with a, a pretty tough putt, I think. Well, it's not too bad. What have we got? 24 feet, 3 inches up. Oh, that's missed. That's well missed. So that's going to give us a bogey. Our first one, and probably not our last either. I'll tell you what, it's getting warm here again, and I just read um, on the news, well, the news on um, MSN, I just take a little look at the first page every now and again it's going to be so bloody hot over the uh, coming up to the weekend uh saturday it's going to be quite warm they reckon sunday we might hit 30 degrees that's not good i hate the heat i can't stand the bloody heat right what we got here 208 yards hmm we go 234 with that five hybrid now if I go with a five, that's it's not going to... It might make the green, but it's never going to get up there, is it? So I'm going to have to go with a five wood. Oh, that's better. 92% shot as well there. And that's turning. Lovely. Go on. Still a pretty tricky little putt here, though. That's going in. Get in that. There we go. We've got the shot back. 
That's not a bad looking front nine, to be honest. Just that one square on the card there. Okay, ninth hole is a par four, 359 yards and one foot up. And we've got three wood there. We'll go with the driver. And we'll aim it right down this left hand. Maybe there, I reckon, because that wind's going to push it right over. Oh, there we go. We're booming. That's turning lovely as well. Oh, come on. Get a nice little bounce here. Get on to the fairway for me. Oh, no. On at the first cut. Not too bad, though. Okay, little pitch. 92-95%. We should be good. Oh, that's a bit of a slow. Oh, look at that. Nice little kick there to the left. Okay, 16 feet and three inches up. That's missed. So that's going to be a little tappy tap for the par. Oh, I just thought Secret Invasion started this week. I mean, I kind of went off a lot of Marvel stuff now. That phase four was absolute garbage to me i think this um multiverse crap but i do like samuel l jackson as nick fury so i think after i finish playing this i am going to go and watch the first episode of secret invasion which is on disney plus i'm kind of looking forward to this one but a lot of the other marvel stuff i've just not really been that interested in lately and i was a i'm usually a huge fan to be honest Right, well, we've got 170. Let's go. That's not bad. That wind's going to... Oh, 104%. That's a bit much. I was just about to say that wind's going to push it in. Lovely. Got a little bit too much power on that one. Right. Got quite a bit of turn on it. What have we got? 20 feet and 2 inches down. Oh, well, that was close. That was close. <laughs> you hear Justin Thomas. Uh, I seen it on Twitter. He was playing with Wyndham Clark. And I think he was what? 40, 50, 80 yards out, I think he was. And Wyndham Clark asked him to mark his, mark his ball. <laughs> and he marked it as he was walking away. And he, I don't know if you've seen it. He was like... Uh, F in Windsor, the open, he thinks. <laughs> I thought it was quite funny, to be honest. But um, he did say they are good friends, and he actually said it loud enough that he knew he would hear it. Kind of joking with him, type of thing. Yeah, it was quite funny. Oh, that wind's pushed that right over to the right. Should I say way over to the right? Right over to the right doesn't sound right. <laughs> That's not turning. Oh, just shaved the side. That's going to be another part. Okay, what are we on? We are on, I'm still on minus five. Rafa Cabello Bello, Paul Abarion, Hideko. Matsuyama and John Ram. At least we're beating John Ram, that's the main thing. I actually had him pegged for last week's and he didn't do very well at all. Come on. Oh, that's in the rough. I should have probably played that with some fade there, I reckon. But that should leave us a decent little pitch up on the green now. Right, well, we've got 60 and 9 feet up 70 to 79 so we'll play it about there Ooh, on a little bit of a left to right slope so let's try that there get up go on row row these bloody common golf balls you want them to roll they don't roll and you don't want them to roll and they roll mind you that was i suppose that's uphill as you see it just coming back now oh yeah definitely Right, oh, we've got 19 feet. Oh, 
Oh, I thought that was in. I really thought that was going to drop there. I was just about to go, you little beauty. <laughs> oh, oof. Let's try a little bit more that way. Ah, oh, come on, get in, get in. Yes, nice. Okay, a little string of pars here. We're still on minus five. They're catching up. Okay, 13th hole, par five. Oh, we've got the wind going with us again here. 533, 23 feet down. Let's aim it. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to put a little bit of fade on it. Because I don't really want to play with that war. Ah, oh, that's not bad. Hopefully. Oh, come on, kick. Looks like there's a little slope there. Is it going to kick? Yes, get in there. Nice. Okay, 352. Off the tee. 183. Yeah, we should be good. Let's put a little bit of loft on it. Aim it way over here. Got the perfect. Lovely. Get it. Oh, no. Come on. Get up there. Oh, I thought that was headed for the wall there. Maybe a little bit too much. Oh, look at that. Look at them shadows. Jesus, that is... You see what I mean? I can't even see the bloody hole there. There it is. That is horrible. Damn, that is nasty looking. Oh. Yeah, they need to calm that down a little bit, the way them, that moves. Gee, that's giving me a headache. <laughs> Have a seizure if you look at that for too long. Kind of reminds me of the trees in Witcher 3 when that first came out. They were absolutely mental the way they were flapping around in the, the wind. Right, now I remember this from the other day. I think I played this back a little bit. It did actually run out with my driver. Ah, that's not bad. 95%. That should be good. It's going to run down there a little bit. As you see, there's a little bit of a slope there. Yeah, that's nice. That'll do it. That leaves us 103, 20 feet down. So that's probably what? 96. So let's take a little bit of loft. Let's play it to about there. That should be okay. Oh, that's not bad at all. Lovely little roll on that there. And that is going to give us a nice little tap. For the birdie. There we go. Okay, take what? Minus. I got birdie on the last hole. I thought we were minus. Five. Oh, is that the par five there? I'm sick. See, I, I just forget what I bloody... Yeah, it's par... Ah, right, we've got the birdie, then we've got another birdie, right. See, my old mind is going. <laughs> right, what have we got here? 308, nine feet down, with 12 mile an hour wind against us. Let's just smash it. No. No, there's water down there. Sugar. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, what the hell was it? I shouldn't have clicked that. I, sh I just meant to like, kind of like speed it up. Should have bloody brought that all the way back. What the hell am I going to do here? I've got a chance of hitting off the sign. I've got... I'm going to go right through the tree. I might just have to kind of power it through the tree with a good bit of loft on it, to be honest. Bloody hell. Let's just smash it. Go. Tell you what, that worked out better than I thought it was going to. What? <laughs> That's what you call spin. Get in there. Even though I didn't want it. Must have been on it. Yeah, look at that. That's a massive hill we've got to climb here. Right, we need this for the par. That'd be nice if we've got the par here after going in the water. Right, so let's see what we've got. We've got a little bit of left to right. A little bit more left to right. A little bit right or left. Right at the top of the cup there. So I'm going to try about here, I reckon. <sighs> Oof.
Right, go on. Go, go. Oh, damn. So close. So close. Yeah, I really hate the shade of the green on this. Green. <laughs> so we've got a bogey there. That takes us down to minus six, but we're still in the lead. It's like that Joe dude there in third place. He's he's a nice guy. Joe, I can't remember, can't pronounce his second name. We'll see it in a minute. Nice. Ooh, par three, 184. I think we're going to have to bring this in from the left-hand side here. Oh, nice. We got it perfect. That wind has just kept that right out. I didn't want to play with that bunker, though. That's the thing. So that'll do it. I'm quite happy with that. Stay away from that bunker. Come on, Bolt. Right. Left to right. And right to left. So, uh, round about there. Oh, it's a little bit short. Just didn't have the legs. So another little tap. And I think that was a par. Yep, still on minus six. Oh, he's fell away, whoever it was, that Joel dude. Who we got here? Kramer Hickok. Rafa, he's been in there for, since the beginning. He's sticking to me. Okay, 17th. Wow, we've went through this pretty quick. Bloody hell. Right, par four. I really need to stay away from the water, so that wind should stop it from going out of bounds. I mean, into the rough. We did hit a slow. No, no. Why is it every time there's water I find it? Come on. <sighs> Bloody hell. Right, let's pull that back just a little touch there. Right, let's see if we can get up here and get the par though. Should be okay from there, I reckon. Yes. Oh, I needed to go a bit further. It's going to leave us a tough part. Damn it. I think we're going to... Uh-oh. Where are you going, Bo? I think we're going to drop a shot here as well. Oh, that is tough. All right. Is it going to turn? Is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. Just dropped another shot. That takes us down to minus five. That means the rest of the pack is going to catch up with us here. Oh, he's took over. Kramer Hickok. Right. 18th. Wind against as well. Bloody hell. We need to get a birdie here. We need to get a good shot off the tee. Oh, look at that. Whoosh. Your little beauty. It's amazing, isn't it? Every, when I get a perfect, because I don't get money, I'm like, oh, yes. And then, yeah, it's like that 2K event I played. Some of these guys are hitting 20 and 21 under. They must be hitting perfects all the bloody time. I'm like, how, how the hell did they do it? Right. That should be okay, I reckon. We need to get close. Try and pick up a birdie. Oh, yes. Get another. Perfect. Uh oh, that wind's held that up quite a lot. Again, that ball just died as soon as it hit the green. Right, here we go. Clutch putt. We need this. It's just, it's not going to turn much at all. Go. Oh, we've missed it. So we're not going to win the Travelers Championship. <laughs> so we end up at minus five, I think it was. That's what I shot in the bloody thingy. Oh, minus six. Yeah, it was minus five. And yet I was minus five after the front nine. Now look at the minus five after the 18 holes. And we actually drew John Ram. We should have beat him, to be honest. So there you go, guys. That is the Travelers Championship. It's quite a nice course. I just wish the, the colour, the shade of green was a little bit darker, to be honest. And the, the shadows were horrible. Really horrible. 
So there you go, guys. Traveler champion, uh, Travelers Championship TPC River Highlands. Hope you enjoyed that. Here's a nice course. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.